How's it going everybody? I'm going to be doing a video on some of the uh, small upgrades that I've ordered for this CZ. Um, kind of giving a shout out to uh, Cajun Gunworks where I got this mat from. Uh, real nice mat. It shows you all the uh, the parts and, and pieces for your uh, CZ 75 series. Um, you know, big shout out to them. Um, super, super nice people. Um, was able to get a hold of them and talk to them and kind of pick their brains about some of these uh, smaller upgrades that I wanted to do. And these are what they recommend most. Um, so first thing, you know, obviously our uh, 15 round magazine here, um, cause it's the only one I could find available. Um, whenever I bought the pistol, it came with the 10 round magazine, but it uh, still fits flush. So you get the 15 rounds and it still fits flush just like the 10 rounder does. Um, and appears to be a very high quality magazine, um, functions just fine. Um, another one of the upgrades that we're going to be doing today is this guide rod. So if you've seen my other video on the review on this gun, I was just really uncomfortable with that polymer guide rod and uh, actually got on the line with one of their gunsmiths there at Cajun Gun Works. And uh, he highly recommends putting the steel guide rod in it. Um, and this is a company that specializes in um, CZ firearms. Um, they do all kinds of special upgrades and things to them. Um, for $22, you get stainless steel as opposed to the polymer that comes with it and we'll compare it after I get it pulled out of the gun and then another issue that I've seen with these CZs is the uh, this roll pin that retains the firing pin um, will eventually get a hole knocked in it some people are claiming after only four or five hundred rounds so we got this, uh, this steel tempered steel retaining pin which is supposed to be a little tougher um, I've already got the firing pin retainer started in this one. Um, didn't figure it was necessary for you guys to watch me curse at it. Um, just a heads up, if this is the first time you're taking it out, it is going to be very difficult. All right. And it looks like CZ did make an update to this guy. Um, you know, instead of being the hollow pin, um, they kind of doubled it up. Um, but I've heard this isn't quite doing the trick. Um, after a couple hundred rounds, you can kind of see that that, uh, that shoulder, that firing pin's already started to kind of dent and bend this up. So we'll see how the, the one from Cajun Gunworks does. Um, and to do this, uh, don't take your slide off um, and leave the hammer uh, in the all the way forward position so that this uh, fire, excuse me, firing pin shoulder doesn't get in the way. And if you look through there right now, you can see that it is, uh, it's cleared. So it should just be able to tap right in there. And they do recommend this slot in the top being at the 12 o'clock position. So point it straight up. All right, that looks to be good. All right, and then the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're gonna be putting that stainless steel guide rod in it. Just for a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the two, you can see that it's a, uh, it's pretty well made. The dimensions are pretty exact, and just to kind of show you on this uh, polymer one, it's already starting to kind of get scratched up and gashed up by the, uh, the spring here. There you go. There's your stainless steel guide rod in there. And all this stuff was uh, picked up at Cajun Gunworks. Uh, not sponsored by them or anything, but 
Um, if you do have a CZ, I highly recommend going to them. Uh, the pen was a, a whole $5. Uh, magazine was uh, roughly 49 And that uh, guide rod, which I feel like is the first thing you can do, you should do, is that guide rod um, was only 22 And then, you know, 5 bucks for the, uh, the pen here. All right, let me know what you think. Just to kind of show you here, too, um, you know, just kind of a <laughs> PSA. Uh, you don't want to end up uh, nicking your gun. If you can see it right right there next to that retaining pin, I, I nicked my, my slide a little bit. But all is well. This is a carry gun. Um, as long as functionality is 100%, that's all that really matters. Um, if you look at some of the other guns that I've carried in the past, um, you know, places like right here, you can already see it starting um, from holstering and unholstering. You're just going to get some wear and some small scratches on it. But just be sure to be careful <laughs> when you're hammering that in so you don't have to make yourself sick like I did.